Hey, what's up guys? This is GN of uh, Gadget Pilipinas. Uh, there's been quite a number of questions lately on how you can replace uh, or upgrade the SSD of the ROG Ally. Uh, certainly, doing it on the Steam Deck is somewhat easy, but you have to have the heart of a lion to pull it off. Also, do not make the mistake of not taking out the micro SD card before removing the Steam Deck's backplate. Well, upgrading the SSD of the ROG Ally is easy. Uh, this ROG Ally already packs a 1TB SSD, and this is the original 512 gig uh, that came with it. No? However, I need to inform you that I am not responsible for anything wrong that will happen when you swap your SSDs uh, using this guide. All right? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, here are the requirements. Of course, you need the screwdriver with the PH000, PH00, or PH0 bits. Uh, you can also Google screwdriver set for Steam Deck, which also works uh, for the ROG Ally. I left an Amazon link in the description. It also includes necessary tools like tweezers, a pry bar, and pick that you may need in the process. Also, you need to have an M.2 SSD 2230. Uh, I recommend that you get the SN740 or better than that. Uh, that will be used no, to replace the pre-installed SSD on the ROG Ally. You also need the Macrium Reflect which is free for the free trial. Now, upgrading involves these simple steps. Please note that this step, the first step that I'm going to tell you involves you cloning your current ROG Ally SSD using Macrium Reflect. I suggest that you check this video on how to do so. I will not go through this process, but make sure that you follow the video by access random on how you can clone your SSD so you can just simply swap it out. Now, this is an important step because the current partition setup and even the order of the partitions in the pre-installed SSD have recovery files that may be crucial in the booting process. Now, this will make it easy for you to reinstall Windows along with all the drivers and apps without hassle moving forward. Next, you need to remove uh, six screws. The screw at the lower middle area cannot be removed, at least on my review unit. Now, once this one is loose, you can just simply use or uh, pry open the back panel using a pick. Now, this process is not as difficult as the one on the Steam Deck because you need a bit of force there, no? And you don't need also to remove the micro SD card, at least in my experience. But I still suggest that you do so to avoid any issues. Next, remove two pins of the battery from the motherboard. There's one on the left side and there's one on the right side. Now, what you have to be very careful are the very thin cables of the pins that connect the batteries on the board. Don't just pull them using your fingers as uh, they can easily be cut. So don't, please, no, don't make that mistake. The next thing you need to do is to open the black flap or cover that protects the SSD. Remove the SSD screw, there's only one screw, and replace it with the new one. My recommended uh, SSD is concerned, it has to be SN740 and maybe, maybe even better. Okay? Now, once you've replaced the old SSD with the new one, return the back flap, uh, reconnect the two battery pins, replace the back panel, and re-screw everything. Now, before you turn on your ROG Ally with the new SSD, uh, you need to get the official charger, connect it to power outlet, and insert the Type-C end to the ROG Ally without pressing anything. If it doesn't turn on and if the light at the top doesn't turn red or white, depending on how charged or fully charged your ROG Ally is, um, that means you did something wrong. Um, that means uh, you may need to reconnect uh, the pins. But when you connect the cable on the Type-C port of the device, make sure that uh, something lights up, okay? If it doesn't boot, you may then manually press the on and off button. Now, it should boot the ROG Ally, uh, and then that's it. You now have an upgraded storage on the ROG Ally. Now again, this is only with the assumption that you have successfully cloned your uh, original ROG Ally SSD so that the new one would automatically be booted to Windows. Now, as you can see, uh, this ROG Ally is actually now at one terabyte as seen on Windows Disk Manager. I don't know if you can see it, but I still have a 250 gig left, which I am reserving for the future release of Chimera OS or Batucera. I also have the option to extend my current partitions to increase its space, or I can also shrink it if I wish to have additional partitions. 
Now, I have to inform you that this is not the official uh, instruction or way on how to upgrade the SSD of your ROG Ally. Uh, we're weeks beyond the time of the production of this video. We're weeks uh, before the official launch. So I would still recommend that you wait for official instructions from ASUS ROG before you know, messing with your units or messing with your pre-ordered units once they arrive. Um, also, if you're thinking of buying an SSD, again, I recommend that you get yourself um, an SN740 if there's one you know, available, or maybe one from Corsair. Uh, I have to check which one first is best for you. But we have to wait for um, ASUS for the full and the official instructions. All right. Uh, again, uh, this step is, uh, to me, is an important factor. You know? for handheld gaming uh, devices since it is very likely that those who will pre-order the ROG Ally will upgrade the current setup to higher capacity SSDs. I don't know what you're going to be using it for. Um, you can either use it for emulation purposes or you may use it to just simply uh, put as much games as you want. It's all up to you. The size of games nowadays have been really blowing up. Uh, Call of Duty alone is, I believe, is 300 gig already. Uh, and some games are already about above 100 gig and that's really going to be a challenge especially if, if you only have 512 gig uh, of uh, storage on your ROG Ally. Now what do you guys think of this setup that I have? Are you excited to receive your ROG Ally? Did I do anything wrong in my process? Um, I'm all ears. Let me know in the comment section. I'm a small YouTuber and I'm still learning in the process. I would like to know some suggestions from you. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one. Bye.